Ooh, Chanel. Okay, so it's not actually Chanel <laughs> because it's that year. But if it does... Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. It's your girl Kiani here. And if you're new, you already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down below. Today's video is going to be another bougie on a budget. And I'm going to be showing you all different perfumes that I've purchased over the last month or so. And if you're ready, then stay tuned. So from the first company, we have Dossier Gear. Dossier has been my new favorite go-to. Uh, Dossier is a French company that has luxury scents for less they I start at $29 and up you can get some of your favorite scents luxury scents for on the low and you can use my code below like I'm gonna leave all that information for you in the description box below because I love you guys so the two dossier perfumes that you will see today they were gifted to me and every other perfume that I show you I purchased on my own minus um minus this Giorgio Armani. I'll mention it to you, what's gifted and what's not. But anyways, um, the first one I have for you is Oriental Acmas. This is a 1.7 fluid ounces. This, I will pull the price below and what is inspired by. This is inspired by Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. And I chose this one because I actually do have this perfume. And it took a while to grow on me, but I just want to see if it smells the same. Um, the notes, I'll put the top notes, middle notes, all that good stuff. If you guys seen my other video, I will link that above for you guys. Any of the dossier videos I have for you, you should definitely check them out and definitely use my code that I'm going to leave in the description box below. But I am going to spray this. Mmm. This one is a first impression. This one is a first impression for me and it smells so good. It smells sort of like the original. You have top notes of bergamot, orange, peach. That smells really good. Jasmine, rose, aquamas, of course, and vanilla. That's this one for you guys. And I'm actually going to spray the original that I do have here just to just to compare because we like to compare so i have the coco mademoiselle here it's pretty old i've had it for a while but like i didn't like it at first but over the years my taste has changed so you know grown woman ish but it smells very very similar it smells wow oh yes they smell the same. It's a win. It is a win. They smell the same, but obviously you can get dossier for less than this. I'll do the comparison prices and I'll put them on the screen. It's crazy. They smell the same. All right. I can't get over that. Well, on to the next one. Next. The next dossier perfume I have for you guys is, ooh, excuse me if I say this wrong, um, Fugir. Oud is inspired by Tom Ford Oud Wood. I am probably saying this so wrong, so, so wrong, but here's a title for you guys. 1.7 fluid ounces again. This one has top notes of rosewood, tobacco, pink pepper, uh, coriander, and cedar wood is in there too. I am going to spray this. Oh. <laughs> Um, it's a no for me. This smells like Vicks. <laughs> if you guys, I don't know. In my household, whenever I was sick, my mom like put it all over my chest, all under my nose. Like this right here will definitely clear your sinuses, and it's a no for me. And I don't think I'm gonna. Um, ugh, that stinks. I. It's a no for me. I don't recommend. I don't know if it smells anything similar to the Tom Ford version, but if it does, mm 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 mm. Anyways, this next perfume I have I actually put a post up on my Instagram, so feel free to follow my Instagram. It's called My Way by Giorgio Armani, and this I've gotten compliments on left and right. This one smells so good. Oh, you guys hear the vocals? <laughs> 
<laughs> this smells so good. I am going to look for something where I could spray this on. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to spray it on my hand because... Ooh, it smells so sweet and it smells like like flowers and it smells so romantic definitely a perfect date night scent my way jersey your own money i definitely recommend this i know they have um my way intense i'm not sure what that smells like but this one the original one my way i definitely give this a 10 out of 10. You don't have to spray a lot with this one. Just a little goes a long way. I, what I found is with the Dossier perfumes, you do have to spray a lot, but it lasts all day for me because I no longer smell me, but other like my patients and whenever while I'm at work, they be like, you smell so good still. And I'm like, still? I don't even smell myself. But this also goes a long way. Like a little bit goes a long way. And I love this one. So definitely... 10 out of 10 my way Giorgio Armani um next up is from a different company it is oily perfumery as some of you may have heard of it some of you may not but if you haven't let me put you on um a couple of videos ago I did a review on um Tom Ford Lost Cherry but from Dossier so I was like I'm running out of this one because I used it so much I actually did run out of it so Instead of buying the original Tom Ford Lush Cherry, I bought this little sample here. And I'll put the price on the screen. I believe it was only like $14.99. But this smells just like it. It's a roll-on too. So it lasts, it lasts so, so, so long. Everyone is in love with this scent. And I love the fact that it's a rollerball too because it's easily, um, you can easily put this in your purse and take it on the go with you. Perfect. For me, I kind of put it in my scrub pockets and I just roll on a little bit. Mmm, smells so, so good. And it smells like the original too. So you can't go wrong for this. This was only $14. And um, the shipping is pretty fast too. So I've bought another one, a couple other ones from this company too. So look forward to seeing those in another Bougie on a Budget video. Um, next is a famous, famous Ebony Wood. I bought it. Kyra, she put us on. Kyra from YouTube, she put us all on. And believe the hype because this smells amazing. Um, for some, it's, it's not, it might not be for everyone, but I love it because I love those masculine type scents. Um, I'm going to spray it on this arm here. It took a while to grow on me because I was like, mm, like what, what is everyone talking about? But it is strong at first and then after a while it like kind of softens up a bit. But it has like, like a woody type smell. It's perfect for fall, winter. I love this smell. I definitely give it an 8 out of 10 though because it's not my favorite. But it is definitely good for a fall, winter scent. It, it's like a warm scent. And then, like I said, it's not for everyone, but this definitely, like, if you like those musky type, woody type smells, like smoky type smells, then definitely go out and get this. I'm not recommending it for everybody because not everybody may like it, but I believe the hype. The hype is there. It's real. This smells really good. Next up, I have perfumes from Micro Perfumes. I have a few of them from this company, and I really love their design and their prices they always have sales and the prices are amazing like i've gotten small small ones for as low as a dollar and then they go all the way up to like maybe 40 or more because they do travel size they do travel sizes and so that's what i love about this this is five milliliters and this one is the product candy and look how easy this is it's just whoop and down Whoop and down. Whoop and down. Okay, I'm done. But I love this. I've gotten compliments on product candy. It smells amazing. I am going to spray it on the top of my hand because I like sprayed here already. So I'm running out of spaces. Just yummy. Like, wow. Get this. This is perfect for a date night. This is 
this is really good i love prada candy i love this one and next up oh and this one is actually like the real deal like it's not inspired by but you can also um this one like micro perfumes has like the real perfume in it but just in a smaller size travel size or like micro these are not inspired by perfumes these are actually the real deal and they come in well i'm almost done with this one but this is how it looks and you can take it out and you can easily put it back in love this so next one i have is flower bomb by victor and rolf like i'm probably saying that wrong too but you know bear with me guys again another travel size one i got and i've well i've bought the i've, bought, I've had the real one i've had the dossier um victor and rolf one flower bomb and now i just bought another one um I didn't use this one as much yet. I just opened it, but I knew I was running out of my old one, so I needed another one. But this right here, you can never go wrong. I don't know where to spray this. <laughs> I'm just gonna spray it on my shirt here. You can never go wrong with this. I definitely recommend this one. I love that smell. It's definitely a good floral scent. If you love floral scents, like, definitely recommend that one i got a lot of compliments on it everyone was like what are you wearing i'm like flower bomb flower bomb yes this one smells mm, so good and then last but not least i have more micro perfumes and i am gonna go for the um so this one is really really tiny <laughs> This is Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla. This is what I love about this company because it just rebottled the perfume and I get to test it without actually buying the bigger size, you know? Wait, hold on. I gotta find a place to put it on my arm. <laughs> I'm not a fan I'm, I'm not a fan like that tobacco type smell but mm -mm. It, it smells like the other like the Tom Ford the oud wood like I like don't get me wrong I like what he smells but this is like more mass like this is real real like ugh. it's not enough vanilla I think the vanilla would have like really really sweetened it out but this smells like more like tobacco than anything. Ooh, it's giving me a headache. Okay, it's a no for me. But sorry to end this video on a bad note. But either way, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please leave um, any suggestions below. Any like perfume suggestions below. So that I can like go out and buy them and try them. So yeah, so that we can make this actually series like an ongoing thing. But thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tuning in. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.